the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Let us call to mind our sins and ask God's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teaches us that you abide in the hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling place pleasing to you. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. James. James, a servant of God, and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes in the dispersion. Greetings. Consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials, for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance be perfect, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. But if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given it. But he should ask in faith, not doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed about by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord, since he is a man of two minds, unstable in all his ways. The brother in lowly circumstances should take pride in high standing and the rich one in his lowliness, for he will pass away like the flower of the field, for the sun comes up with its scorching heat and dries up the grass, its flowers droop and the beauty of its appearance vanishes. So will the rich person fade away in the midst of his pursuits. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I hold to your promise. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. You are good and bountiful. Teach me your statutes. Be kind to me, O Lord, and I shall live. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. And I shall live. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed from the depth of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into a boat, and went off to the other shore. The Gospel of the Lord.
So, you ever notice in Mark's gospel where Jesus performs a miracle like yesterday, he heals the leper and then tells the leper, don't tell anyone about this. He does that over and over again in Mark's gospel. And it's a literary device that Mark uses to, to tell us that Jesus, um, Jesus believed his words, his preaching, was far more important than his miracles. And we see that in the gospel today. The Pharisees say, you know, do some gee whiz, something, do something gee whiz for us. Um, give us a sign then maybe we will take your words seriously. Jesus challenges us to take his words seriously, period. Not necessarily to worry about the healings and the exorcisms, but it's his word that can change our hearts. It's his word. In fact, it calls us to repentance. It's his word that invites us to the kingdom of God and the fullness of life that God intends for us. So I think the challenge of the gospel today is for us to really focus ourselves on what Jesus says to us, what he challenges us to by way of a life. I think that's really important as we approach Lent because Jesus is not necessarily going to come and heal my sight or help you to walk better, but he does come in his word to change our hearts to change our thinking, how we look at things. So today as we come to the Lord's table and as we share in the very body and blood of Christ, the true sign that Jesus had given to all of us is his life-giving word. May we take him seriously. Let us stand and bring our petitions to the mercy of the Lord. For Pope Francis, may he be blessed with an abundance of grace to shine the light of Christ in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may God's voice be their guide in forming laws that favor the common good over specific agendas. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in crisis pregnancies, may God fill them with courage and provide the resources they need to choose life for their babies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may the peace of Christ reign in our hearts and homes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they soon Rejoice as they join the communion of saints in the fullness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Brenda Gallant, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray today? Lord, hear our prayer. For peace we pray. Hail Mary, Mary full, full of grace, grace. The, the Lord, Lord is, is with thee. Yes. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray these many things through Christ our Lord. We have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made will become for us the bread of life. May this meal and water and wine when we come to share in the divinity of Christ through hope of himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are God of all creation through the goodness we have this wine to offer. 
our spiritual joy, Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with us and to accept the sacrifice we offer in humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from all my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Lord, may this oblation cleanse us and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. In him, you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. And though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of the cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, may our voices be one in grateful praise as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, the full of your glory, Hosanna in highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lord Jesus Christ, have faith in love of mercy. I eat your body and drink your blood. And not bring me condemnation, but health of mind, body, and spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. <clears throat> the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. You need to go to the other side when you come here. Okay. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Good after Mass. The body of Christ. 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 Amen.
Let us pray. Lord, having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a good day.